everybody. It's Cookie Brothers with FCF International here for another Cookies Corner. You know, now is the time, if you haven't already, to be planning for next year. For me, planning for the next year has always been a challenge. I get too much in my head and I have this need to know and understand every detail. And we all know that as a leader, that's not always our job. And if you follow Dr. Dean Radke as I do, you know that you need to, as he calls it, go to the mountain with a full backpack. You know, this changed everything for me. Before, I would just go and pray in the spirit, read my Bible, maybe ask a few questions, put a few thoughts out there, or ideas before the Lord, come home feeling like my hearer is broken. But if you fill your backpack with the items that Dr. Radke recommends, then you can't help but hear from heaven. Even getting one thing about the coming year and a scripture can adjust the whole trajectory of your team planning processes. And let me just interject right here. If you don't have a team, what are you waiting for? A team of one, five, up to eight people are the ones who be, should be disseminating the vision into strategies. Remember, no one should do ministry alone. Have you ever noticed that in parenting, the kids whose parents dictated their lives and told them what to do and how to do it, grew up pretty unable to make any decisions, or at least not very good ones. But the parents who asked their kids questions and helped the kids develop some sense of reasoning to ask internal questions generally made better decisions. Well, I think that there's a similarity here with us and God. God's not a dictator. He's going to lay out broad scope vision, and then we begin asking the questions that bring some sense of clarity. And once we hear that, we bring that back to our team, who then disseminates the information into strategies. Now, I always feel like I had to come up with the strategies, but that's not my job, and that's good because I'm not good at it. But my job is to ask God questions, and the right questions. You know what? Here's the first and foremost for you as a leader to start. Let him talk to you about you first. It's vital for you to be well, to lead well. Asking him how you're doing as a leader. Are you maintaining intimacy with the Lord and how can you improve? And a whole host of other metric type questions to help you assess your current state. You know, here's the thing, facing the brutal facts of your present reality isn't a lack of faith. No, it's a lack of faith if you won't face those brutal facts of your present reality and then blame everything on the devil. You know, a side note here is we do have an enemy, but a life of faith is lived offensively, not defensively. Offensive cannot be effective if you don't face facts. Okay, so facing the brutal facts about your present reality while holding space for the fact that you are an overcomer is real faith. Maybe we better move on here. Here's some other things you might put before the Lord to plan for your coming season. Your mission statement. Ask him to help you assess how you're doing with it. How can you improve? The Lord will imprint it deeper into your heart and help you improve it, teach you more about it. He's not gonna change it, He's just going to make it more real to you so you can be more effective about communicating it. Here's one that's really helpful for me, and that's rhema words. Scriptures you've highlighted and they've jumped off the pages for you for 5, 10, 20 years. But put them before the Lord and ask him, how's this looking for us and working for us in this year? And then lastly, and there's a lot more, but I'll just touch on this last one, and that's priorities. You want to be able to communicate with your team what the top four to six priorities are. And once you've put these to your team, you may have to reorder some of the things that they see coming that you didn't. And the Lord will graciously help you and your team with this. Another reason to have a team, perspective. Listen to these scriptures. Proverbs 15, 22, 23 in the NASB says, without consultation, Plans are frustrated, but with many counselors, they succeed. A man has joy in an apt answer, and how delightful is a timely word. You're not asking your team to solve a problem. You're asking them for wisdom, counsel, understanding, and knowledge. 
And then Proverbs 12, 14 in the NASB says, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man is he who listens to counsel. You're receiving their input. And then Proverbs 18, 15 in the Living Bible says, the intelligent man is always open to new ideas. In fact, he looks for them. Your team is the one who comes up with the new ideas. Let's not settle for good enough in 2021. Let's re-energize and reignite our passion and go for God's highest and best. Let's get clear on our vision, empower our team, and 